Welcome back to Sea Time. I'm Liam, and this is my carburetor. That carburetor is off of his KTM 65, and what was happening, Liam? It wasn't working. Though. It wasn't working, and that was because the float was stuck. We tried to adjust the float bowl, but did that work? No. It did not. So, carb rebuild kit. We're gonna try to replace the, all of the pieces and parts that come with this, and see if we can get this carburetor working a little bit better. What do you think? Yeah. Let's do it. Liam, it starts with gloves. We need to take the bowl off, so the bowl right here, okay? We're gonna take those four screws out. Sometimes we just need to push in and really turn. Okay, so we've got the, the bowl off. We pull out this guy. Oh. That was easy. Okay. And then the float comes out. That's our float. Mm -hmm. This is our float valve. I doubt we can get that to focus, but there's a little bit of a depression that happens here, right? So the float valve looks good, but I'm thinking the seat that it sits in is what is actually is going to need to be replaced. And where does it actually sit? Like, does it sit in that little... Yep, it sits right in there. So I think what's happening it's is good. this is getting stuck. So we're going to take the pilot jet out as well. I don't think it's good to breathe this much oil or gas in it. So it's your little pilot jet. So this one you got to be really careful with, okay, because of the fact that it's a brass, and you're going to turn it counterclockwise, so this way. Mm, yes. I'll hold it Lefty and you turn it. Curious little piece. Now see there is a little washer. Washer! It looks yeah. cold. Let me make sure that we have those together with our jets. Very interesting and it also sucks to see that somebody used a star screw there but other screws here. One question I had is I noticed this little guy is a star, kind of a star bolt where the others are uh, you know, just a Phillips head. And is that stock or did somebody get lazy? Is I, I'm kind of wondering, like, I have, you know, the right tool to loosen that guy, so that's not a problem. But I just didn't know if uh, these came stock as used to be all four the same, or this one got changed out, or maybe these other three got changed out. Anybody knows? Let me know. So that's the new float, but we really, we really want the new this. They sent us a kit that rebuilds a different carburetor. This is the piece that goes to my carburetor that the float sits in, and this is the piece that they sent us. This, these pieces aren't the same. Though. Okay, so we need to order a different kit? Yes! All right, but we'll I'm pick up here in a second. Got the correct carburetor rebuild kit in. This one is from All Balls. We're gonna see how this goes the second time around, aren't we, Liam? This little guy is for the bolt here that holds that on, which then holds the float valve and the seat that it goes in. And so we think either the seat was worn out um, or the gasket around the seat. So this is the, the, the big part that we're really replacing here in the, the, the valve itself. And then you get that star first, and it's gonna be a little tight. Remember to push down. Yeah, so when you're uh, loosening a bolt like that, right, you wanna push down. There's like a small that. washer. Okay, so we wanna make sure we don't lose the washer then. Okay, I'm gonna put these down here so we know that these were different. Yeah, so make sure you push down. Yeah, did you see how it had to break like that? But see, if you just if you don't push down like that, it would uh, it could potentially strip it out, right? Does that make sense? So same idea. I'll hold this. You push down and turn. Almost push down straight. Nice, nice, nice. Great job. Oh, 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 that was easy. Okay, check that out. So we're definitely gonna have to replace cool. that. <laughs> so right now then, we take this off. We should have replacement for this. This is not a get and repair channel. But we're doing this together because we're riding buddies. Let's take the choke out and then we'll clean that and then that'll be the last thing that we take okay. off, Liam. Okay. And, and then we'll put it all back together.
Okay, we gotta remember that we have this washer. Okay, let's see how it all comes together. So we'll, we'll take this a little bit apart before we put it back together to give it a good cleaning. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some brushes, right? We're gonna kind of clean all this stuff. Yeah. See how there's like dirt in here and we don't Ew. want any dirt yeah, in here. Yeah, that is not. And where's the piece I just, there it is. So we're gonna do the same thing with this. So let's go ahead, you wanna get the, get the pick and slowly kind of pick that piece of paper out. What you need to do is put these on because we don't want to get anything in your face. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to show you. So, like, pretty much. But we'll take this and see how there's like some grime here, a little yeah. bit of grime there. You're going to yeah. And then you want to kind of use this to kind of blow away some of that. We've got some is of this degreaser too. Is this DW40? That is, do not point this at yourself. That is char, carb, and choke cleaner. And <laughs> it will not taste good. That's why you've got those on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it smells horrible. Yeah. Mm. Oh! Wow! Ah, cold! Like, very cold! I know you guys can't feel this, but that, that is cold! Like, my hands feel like they have, like, the entire North Pole on them. Okay, so now what we're gonna do we is we're gonna get... We're gonna get all of our uh, pieces and parts, and we're gonna blow them off. Oh. We wanna blow through <laughs> that kind of stuff. Right? And look, there's a little one right here. Okay. That also goes out through that. Oh, it goes out through Correct, but we want to try to okay, practice with this one. Now we'll do another small one. Okay, now see there's a couple little holes. You want to blow into those slowly because you don't want to, to That's come back at your face. Put your finger over it. That is your Whoa. air hole. Whoa. And see why I need to be careful? That goes that way. Uh, which way? Which one? This one. Okay, and then we have a new bolt for that. This holds that. Now, does that look like it's gonna work, or does it need to go further down? How? Bam! How? How? Sheer strength and will. So now, we've got this guy, right? Yeah. I'm gonna start it and you can... Okay, now remember, just like when we're trying to loosen it, ah, ah, see how it stripped Push a little? Push down. Push down, yep. And straight down, because if not, it's going to... Strip. There you go, perfect. Main jet here. So this goes right there of this carburetor. Okay, Wait, no, this so gets this goes screwed on in. There, right? I'll show you in a second. Oh, wrong. So this goes in there like this, okay? Now, it's brass, so you do not over tighten it. Right? You get it snug and you kind of go. But you see how that? Brass? Yeah, so that, like, we just kind of go boom, and now it's ready that's to rock. That's brass. Yes. Our pilot jet. That's pretty. Okay. Tinier. Let's see, it goes in this spot. And this is, again, this is brass, so if it feels like it's tight, we don't want to force it. And then we just go, it, and just kind of give it a little snug. Will it break if It's you? brass, so it's super soft. So the threads could can, mold the threads could, uh, break. could break really easily. Okay, now this is for your idle. Okay, and then we put this in. Now on this, you can tighten as much as your you want. Your bike, the slide's pretty worn out. So because the slide on your bike's pretty worn out, this has to go all the way in. What we should do is replace the slide, which is what goes up and down. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to get to that later. The manual says that these guys need to be even, and you can see, looking at the valve, that it is just touching it. So this is depressed all the way in. 
And it's supposed to be just touching it a little bit and it looks even to me. So we're gonna go with it, hey! Just like with the top end on my two stroke, it had been a long time since I completely rebuilt a carburetor. And with Liam now wanting to ride more and showing a lot of engineering ideas with all of his Legos, I thought it would be a great task for us to take on together. I will admit that he lost focus a little bit, but he's 10 and at 43, I lost focus a little bit. So it's been fun for us to work on these together. The carburetor is rebuilt. Now we're going to put into this travel cable. Our goal here isn't to create a fire breeding KTM 65. Liam really doesn't want to race. But in the long run, we really didn't do our due diligence when we bought this bike used. And now that we're digging into it more and rebuilding the carburetor, we realized we also should replace the throttle cable. You could see that it had a really bad bend in it. And at this point, the connection from the throttle to the rebuilt carburetor should also be as good as we could get it. But there was still some problem solving to be had. Two things happened here. The bike wasn't getting enough gas to stay running. And I forgot to check the spark plug. As with any used bike, always replace the spark plug. And also, I needed to get back to the float and check how aggressive the tang was. Since I didn't adjust the float tang correctly when I had the carburetor off the bike, I called Morgan from Highland Cycles to get his advice. His advice was to reinstall the carburetor with the float bowl off the bike so that I could play with the float to see when the tang would or would not activate the valve in the seat. This helped me learn so much more about how the float and the float valve work in the carburetor. Here I am adjusting the tang on the float on the bike. Typically you would take the carburetor off, but again, I wanted to see how this functioned on the bike with gas coming out of the tank. Here are two different angles of me raising the float and it shutting off the gas as it's coming out of the bike. Again, really helped me understand how this whole system works and we can get this 65 working a little bit better. As you can see, with Liam's 2014 KTM 65, it looks like we have the carburetor figured out. So we did the carburetor rebuild kit. You could tell when I had to adjust the float, the tang on the float, that I needed to make sure that it was a little bit less aggressive. And Morgan from Highland Cycles gave me the great idea to try it on the bike. Not really just because that's the easiest way to do it, but I can really see how the float works and how the valve works and how the tang adjusts all of that. And I'll be honest, that helped a lot with me understanding it, opposed to just taking it off the bike, bringing it up there, looking at it, and trying to make a bunch of adjustments. So now I think I understand a little bit more of how the mechanics of what's going on within the float, the float valve, the bowl of the carburetor. But the problem is, is as you can hear, bike still is not cleaning out very well and it's also very intermittent so talking to a bunch of other people it does sound like it could be a power valve issue so I'm gonna start digging into that but we're gonna wrap this video up here and we will make another video so I think since I'm gonna have to dig into the power valve we do again we got this bike used we do not know what was done to it we're probably just gonna go ahead and get a top-end kit as well so we're gonna get a power valve kit I'm gonna get a top end kit. We're gonna dig into this thing and see what's gonna happen. Work on this 65. So if you guys enjoyed this, please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for being here. The thing is, is Liam and I are trying to have more fun riding together. He doesn't wanna race, I love to race. It is whatever, then nothing else. We want to help y'all enjoy getting seat time. And hopefully by us doing this together, it teaches him a little bit, it teaches me a little bit, but it teaches y'all something. So if you have any advice, any comments, any questions, leave them below. Um, enjoy getting seat time, right? If we don't get a chance to see you on the trail, at least we'll get to see you on the internet. And I hope you guys have a great freaking time. See you for the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs> it smells horrible. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. You get my eyes. <laughs>